Radio legend Bob Corburn has died. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. He was easily one of the great ones. A friendly, conversational style on the air. When he interviewed people, he made them feel comfortable. He certainly influenced me as a broadcaster. Being a French guy, French being my first language, having to overcome so many things to enunciate the right way and at the same time be friendly, he was one of the people that I would listen to for hints. As a broadcaster, I use the term stare at the speakers way too often, but I use it to describe tasty music that I know will stand the test of time. I used to use that when I talked about Bob Colburn. He was so intimate and so informative and so happy to be there that you actually thought he was in the room with you. And I know that's a cliche in broadcasting, but people would use these terms to describe Bob Colburn. A few days ago, his radio station KLOS in Los Angeles had announced that he only had a few days left. Adding, Bob was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer earlier this year. And while he has been fighting like a champion ever since, all rock and roll journeys eventually come to an end. Bob is comfortable, in good spirits, and he's spending his final time with his family. Today, the radio station posted this message. The outpouring of love and support for this man has been beautiful. And we are saddened to announce that our family member and friend, Bob Coburn, passed away at 12.32 p.m. He wasn't in pain and was with his family. Today, the music world lost a legend, and he will be forever in our hearts. Rest easy, BC. We love you. Colburn was born in 1948 and worked at a lot of different radio stations, but was mostly known for his syndicated show, Rockline. There were a few different hosts for that show through the years, but he was there the longest. In fact, in the end, he owned that program. He took Radio 101 in college because he didn't want to go back to his insurance job. He was on the air in some big radio stations in some big markets in Chicago's WLSFM, WMET, where he was a program director. In San Francisco, he worked at KPRI and KGB, and six stations in Los Angeles, including three stints at KLOS. He told All Access that when the dust settles, he always had his stories to fall back on. He said there wasn't enough time in his career to tell all those tales. And he had some incredibly memorable moments in radio. He told All Access that famous George Harrison show in 1988 was fascinating, deep, and cosmic. Van Halen in Atlanta in 1984 was outright insanity. Strippers, malt liquor, Jack Daniels, a few other things, and David Lee Roth with his boombox drop-ins. He also mentioned the 1000 Rock Line at the then Museum of Television and Radio in New York City with David Bowie and about two dozen superstar guests, including Ronnie Spector, Joey Ramone, to him were downright amazing. Bob Coburn says other highlights included interviewing Paul McCartney half a dozen times and there was also the Rolling Stones and Elton John and a whole bunch more. You know, we say we will miss the great ones. We always miss the great ones. It's easier to say great things about people like Bob Colburn. He taught me an awful lot. May you rest in peace. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you leave your comments and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. This is Rocky History Music.